Hey y'all, I'm Sarah, this is Creative Ramblings, and I have a video for you today that is going to help you stencil some amazing wood signs. So today I am showing you how to take any script font that you like and make a stencil out of it. Now if you've ever tried to make your own stencils, you know how important this is. When you go into your Silhouette software and you write some words, let's say you're making a welcome sign to your home, you use a pretty script font, you write the word welcome, and you cut it out and you pull it off your mat, and what happens? You end up with something that looks like this bottom piece right here. The middle of your E is missing, the middle of your O is missing. It just doesn't look right. Sometimes the words aren't together. So when you're making a stencil, specifically out of, this is just a cardstock stencil, or Duralar or stencil material, something that's not adhesive, um, those middles just fall right out of your letters and it's super annoying. So you either need to go purchase or use a stencil font that already has the appropriate lines cut into it so that you can stencil a sign and all of your letters show up, or you can use this technique that I'm going to show you right now for turning any script font, any font for that matter, into a stencil font. So I use a silhouette. This is my trusty cameo here that I use for everything. And so this video uses the silhouette designed software. If you have a Cricut or something else, watch this video. I have a feeling you can take the techniques that I'm gonna show and adapt them to your own machine and your own software. So take a look how to turn a script font into a stencil font. All right, we are in the Silhouette Studio software, and I am going to show you how to turn any font into a stencil font. This is going to be a really helpful tip for when you're creating your own stencils using either vinyl or specifically Duralar or something like a reusable stencil. So we're going to start by just typing a word. I'm going to use the word welcome. I use that in a lot of my signs. Make it a little bit bigger so we can all see it here. And then I'm going to go over and choose my font. Now you can use any script font you want. I really like this sweetheart font here. So a couple things we're going to do. Let me make this a little bigger. Notice how these letters overlap. Now if I were to send this to be cut right now, they would kind of cut off from each other and it wouldn't string together as one long word. What we're trying to achieve here is one word that's cut out from a sheet of Duralar or stencil material where everything's connected. So I want to start by kind of spacing these together a little bit here. And we're going to do that over here in character spacing. I can bring them further apart. I can bring them closer together. And so I want to find that happy medium where everything is together. Then I'm going to right click and select weld. And what that does is it connects all of my letters. Now, some of these aren't perfectly connected. I can still go in and I can move them over. I can move over the individual pieces and bring them all together. Select everything again and weld one more time. So now my word is all connected, every letter. So if I cut this, the problem that we would have with a stencil is that the middles of these letters, so the middle of the E, the L, the O, and the E at the end, are going to be left over on my cutting mat. They're going to pop out and that's not going to make for a good looking stencil. So we need to find a way for this to be continuous. So to do that we're going to go over to the knife tool on the left here and up on top it gives me some options for the knife tool. I want to, there's options here, there's all kinds of cool options here. Straight is what we want and then we want solid. So that should be your default, but we want solid. And then I'm going to start on the E, and I'm just going to draw two lines down here. And we'll make that a little bit bigger so you can see what happened. So essentially, I cut a hole in my E. Now I'm going to select that piece there and just delete it. So what this does is it makes this outside part of the stencil connect to the inside part. So when I pull the stencil off my mat, that's all going to be together. So now I'm just going to repeat that process for the L and this other E over here. And you can draw these lines wherever you'd like. Um, once you've done this a couple times, 
you get a feel for how you like your letters to look. But this works really well for me. Um, with the O here, we actually have to do it a couple times. So I'm going to take and I'm going to draw a line through both of these, the middle and the edge here. All right, so now that all the points are deleted, those little pieces, we're going to open it up a bit. And now we're ready to cut it. And so what should happen is when we pull this off a mat, we'll have one continuous word and all of these middles will stay attached. So after using that technique, when you cut that word welcome, you're going to have what's on this top line here. All the middles are still attached to your word versus on the bottom here where all I did with this bottom one was I just welded the letters together but I didn't use the knife tool to keep the middles attached. This is what you want. So now that you know this trick, you can go stencil all the signs. Take a look at this video and watch my three favorite ways to stencil a wood sign. And when you're using Duralar, use this technique right here. You're gonna have reusable stencils with perfect letters on them. If you're not already subscribed to Creative Ramblings, hit that subscribe button and get notification every time I have a new video up. Thank you so much for watching. Happy stenciling.